What up, it's your girl Minna, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm, this is actually part two. This is the part two video of the Fenty Skin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to part two video of Fenty Skin. In the first video, which actually was this morning, I put on the Fenty Skin products in this video. I'm going to use all three because I'm gonna wash off my face with this Total Cleanser, which is actually called a Remove It All Cleanser. You can use this on your bare skin in the morning after you've slept, or you can use this to wash off your makeup, like to break down the makeup according to the company. So we're gonna see if this works. So that's why I made this a two-part video. I wanted to be sure to use it without but I just didn't get to use this first and then I wanted to do my makeup and then use it to break down my makeup so if you are excited about this part two I want you to click the thumbs up I want you to subscribe and also let's go one thing I do want to say is that normally if you've been following me for a while you know that I do the double cleanse so I first use a cleansing balm which is almost like an oil I use it on my dry hands and I rub it on my face it breaks down the makeup and then I go with the cleanser and then go on with my other steps in this situation this I believe is claiming to be like a cleansing balm and a cleanser all together. So I'm not gonna do the cleansing balm, I'm just gonna do this and we gonna take a look and see what's going on. What I do feel is that I'm going to have to use the micellar cleanser water afterward to clean my eyes because I do that anyway. I don't expect this to get my eyeliner off, but we gonna see. I am going to use my steamer like I did in part one because it's just so amazing. So here's the steamer from Amazon. You need it, hello, hi, goodbye. Okay, keep the skin hydrated and it's just really fun and why not, you know? Are you excited about Fenty Skin? Are you gonna get it? I'm sure you've been watching a million and one video reviews. What are your preliminary thoughts? Comment and let me know. Are you liking it? Are you not? Are you sold? Make sure you use distilled water, okay? Keep the cartridge nice and clean. That's why you wanna use distilled water and not the water from your sink because that water's dirty. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this, you know? I'm a little nervous. I hate when I break down my makeup because it just it's such a gooey feeling. If you have OCD, I don't have OCD, but I kind of like, ugh. It's like, this looks so good. Now I'm gonna rub and mix. It just feels like, ugh, I don't even know. All right, so with this one, what I love is that all you gotta do is twist and then it's open. How cute, I explained this in part one. Dry hands, right? I wanna use this as if it was a cleansing balm, which I use without water. So let's see how that goes. Okay, this is thick. This is thick, which is nice. I don't smell a fragrance. That's how much I'm taking because I just don't. This is very thick though, which is nice. All right. Okay, first impression, it is not like a cleansing balm in that this is thick, like a creamy cleanser. So it's not breaking down the makeup like I would expect in a cleansing balm. So immediately, I feel like I should have used the cleansing balm first. But we're trying this out, so this is where we are, okay? <laughs> I'm avoiding the lips, but I actually have to take them off, so. Okay, so without water, I'm not feeling it. It's just, it's thick. With a cleansing balm, it would have slid very easily all over my face. This, I feel like I'm rubbing a lotion into my face. Let's see over the eye. What is it doing? Okay, it took it off. I have on contacts. Let me be careful to get this in my eyes. But it still feels like I'm putting on a lotion. That I don't like. Already off rip. I'm not gonna use this to take off my makeup. Look, it's already dry. And I shouldn't have to put water on it in order to use it as a pre-cleanse. That's what it really what it is when you're using your cleansing balm, you're doing a pre-cleanse. I should not have to put water on my face to do a pre-cleanse. It's supposed to be done without water. Okay, so my face is dry. Like this is dry now. This is not moving. So this is very unusual. That I don't like. No. Maybe. No, because if I added water to it, then that would mean that I'm washing my face. Already, I'm not I'm not okay. I'm not okay. But I'm gonna go wash my face for real, for real. I'll come back and let you know what's going on. All right, so it does get more like <laughs> sudsy with the water, of course, but I still see eye makeup on, like the eyeliner, which is not unusual. It's not unusual, so. That's all good. This is not taking off my matte lip at all. But if I had used a cleansing balm, I had a matte lip stain underneath the gloss. If I had used a cleansing balm, that would have come off. I still have on a lippy and a little bit of eyeliner. I just turned on my steamer and I'm gonna <laughs> pat my face dry, <laughs> which is really what we're supposed to do. So we're not transferring bacteria from our towels back to our face. 
Mm, I just wipe this off. That's not working. Okay. I'm going to use micellar cleanser water by Garnier, which is what I use when I do my cleansing balm and my cleanser and I still have makeup left over. I use micellar cleanser water. I know a lot of people feel like the micellar cleanser water should be washed off, but the back of it distinctly says no need to rinse it off. So, so the cleansing water does take off what's remaining on my lip <laughs> with a little bit of force. So do you normally do a pre-cleanse? I want you to comment and let me know. If you don't, I really recommend that you do. You will be surprised that you won't even need to use as much cleanser because you will have already lifted off and then rinsed off the makeup. So then when you're cleansing, you don't need to use a lot. All right, now moving on to the fat water, which I tried this morning. I like this a lot. I used a lot this morning. I'm gonna go a little bit, you know, like a little bit of a lot, kinda, what does that mean? <laughs> a little bit of a lot, okay putting this in the skin. Now, I did not spray in essence like I did this morning. And you gotta watch that video to see why I did that. I can't lie, part of me feels like putting this on my eyes because like I said this morning, there's no eye cream in the in the line and there's no spray. So how about the eyes? I know that many people feel like our moisturizer travels to the eyes, but like, no. Okay, what's this gonna do? With what's left on my hand, I'm gonna just press and pat my eyes, okay? I'm just patting my eyes. To me, it's just important to have something there, okay? There we go. Not burning, feels really good. And there's no scent, mm, very, very, very light scent with this and the same for the cleanser. Very, very almost like nothing scent. And when I put that, see, okay, I'm glad I did this again because this morning I had sprayed an essence on my face several times because I was, you'll see in the video. And then I came and did this part. So when I did it, I looked dewy, I felt good. I was like, yes. But now that I put it on right after the cleanser, I don't feel dry, but I don't look dewy. And I like to look dewy after I apply my serums. And this is a serum, this is a serum toner mix. I don't feel uncomfortable and it does make the skin a little tacky which I like to see with my serums but it doesn't give me dew. Like it doesn't give me glass skin and I like to see glass skin. If you know me then you know I like to layer my serums because for me I want to see my hydration. I can feel the hydration but I want to see it. I don't want to see matte. I still think this is great for those of you who want a really simple routine because you're not going to want to do all the extra stuff that I do. The last step is the moisturizer with SPF. It's still daytime. I'm not going to bed quite yet so I am going to use this. This routine is for daytime use. This one has SPF. You don't wear SPF to go to bed. Okay you wear SPF in the morning time, daytime and then in the the evening you wash your face and do a different routine with perhaps more hydrating products thick products if your skin can handle it if you like it on your skin and maybe some retinol that's what you do in the nighttime this is for the morning time okay let me do two pumps i want to see how this makes me feel because i don't i want to look dewy like what's going on right now and earlier when i put this on i liked how it looked it's got a pink tint to it in the bottle like when you squeeze it out and when you put it on oh yes i'm reminded i went across my nose and i'm reminded i'm reminded of the scent it smells like watermelon trident it's got mint like it's it smells like there's some kind of mint in it it's not like it's menthol-y it's not burning me or anything like that it smells like watermelon toothpaste <laughs> but not in a bad way <laughs> in a good way <laughs> like it does Yes, watermelon. That does make me happy. I like the scent of it. Always want to bring your products down to your neck and your chest. I mean, I've already like been around the world and I, I, I today, so I'm not going to do that, but that's what you really should do. I don't have the shine. See? Okay, let's talk about it. My steamer is done. I took off the cartridge. Let's put her aside. We don't want any steam. We want to see what's going on with the skin. I'm going to put a little bit of chapstick on so we can have this conversation. My sentiments about the products were skewed earlier today or in part one of the video because I had sprayed an essence on my face. The essence made my face very dewy, very glowy. My skin does feel comfortable, does feel hydrated. You see a little bit of that tackiness, like I feel hydrated. But what I like and love, and if you've been following me on Instagram stories, and you know when I do my skincare, be it at nighttime or daytime, when I finish, I'm usually glowing, like glass skin to the 10th power. With that being said, yes, I see some dewiness on my forehead, a little bit around my nose, but it's not to the level of intensity that I normally see when I finish my skin. What I'm saying is, 
I still like it. I'm still going to use it. I'm just going to add things into my steps. So for me, three steps ain't gonna be enough because the more things I add, the more hydration I'm getting. And I'm really all about hydration. My skin responds very well to it. In fact, I had a breakout over here and on my forehead a few weeks ago. And just in general, hydration is very important to me. I'm going to add in my essence spray as my step one after I pre-cleanse and then cleanse. I'm I'm going to add in another serum because you saw after the serum I was looking dull now if you have oily skin you might like the way that my skin you know your skin you gotta try it on yourself too everyone's different you might like the way your skin looks after you put this on because I didn't look shiny but for me I want to look shiny I want to see the glow right after I put on my serum or serums I want to see glow right away like I just want to see that that's what I want to see and normally that's what I see with the products that I use and I try different things you know that and then when it comes to the moisturizer. Moisturizers with SPF, I have a few. They don't provide a glow. So I'm not surprised that after the moisturizer, I wasn't dewy. I could put an oil on top, but that's another step. And I'm not quite sure how the oil interacts with SPF. I gotta look into that. But that's another step, right? So when you're thinking about the three-step process, do I recommend this for those of you who don't have time, don't feel like doing a lot? I do. Do I recommend it for those of you who have oily skin? I do, because you're not gonna look shiny. I don't know what this would look like if I did not put makeup on. Like, are you still gonna get oily afterwards? So on and so forth. Try it out and see, you know? As far as how it looks under makeup, you saw I had my face done before I sat down. I had done the skincare in the morning, so my skin did not look greasy, nothing like that. And so I feel like this, part of me wonders if this is really better for people who have oily, like oily normal skin, but dry skin, if you have dry skin or dehydrated, mine is dehydrated questions that need answers. I mean, this is all new, so we don't really know. I mean, I don't know. If you know, comment and let me know, but interesting. Everyone's skin is different. Everyone's skin's gonna respond differently as well. Give it a shot, I would say. I love the scent of the SPF, the moisturizer, I gotta tell you that. And I think the whole line is just really cute, but you just know me. I like to add a little more. I can't just do these three. I can't, I cannot. I have to do more things, you know? Like right now, I feel hydrated, but I want more. I want to add another moisturizer, like, like I want, I, I want to go back to the serum stage and add another serum. That's just, that is that on that, okay? If you have skin like me where it's normal, dehydrated, then you might feel like it's not hydrating enough. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I'm thinking out loud. This is new, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep on going with it and see what's going on with it, but don't forget to comment below. I know you haven't gotten it yet, probably, unless you're watching this after the launch. Did you buy it? What do you think? And if you have not bought it, are you going to buy it? What are you thinking about that too? Make sure you watch part one, and also thank you for watching this part two. Make sure you are subscribed, follow me on Instagram, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'm glad you're here. Bye.